First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 18, verses 23 to 28. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and travelled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and with ardent spirit spoke and taught accurately about Jesus. Although he knew only the baptism of John, he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. But when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that the Christ is Jesus. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel According to St. John, Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech, the hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name. And I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Throughout this week, we have been meditating on the Spirit, making a place and environment for the Spirit. And tomorrow we will meditate on the ascension of the Lord. Today, in the Gospel, Jesus tells us that we need to ask and we will receive. What are we going to ask for? Because we can make a long list of the things we need in our life. Material things, spiritual things, whatever it is. We can have a long list of things. But what are we really going to ask for? What do we truly desire? Now, if we are going to make an environment for the Spirit and be guided by the Spirit, then we need to ask for the Spirit. That is the greatest thing that we can ask for. It can be also the only thing that we should ask for. Because we, if we have the Spirit within us, it is like we have in the whole world within us in our grasp because with the spirit we can do anything we can accept anything we can meet any challenge in our life this is the power of the spirit so as the lord invites us to ask for anything let us ask for one thing that is the spirit and He will truly give us that Spirit because you know, that is the greatest thing that we can ask for. So let us ask the Spirit as we 
next week we will also continue meditating on the Spirit. And on the, on the day of Pentecost, we will receive the Spirit. So daily let us ask for the Spirit to be within us so that our lives will be filled with the Spirit so that we can love Him with that same Spirit.